Print Reading 101. We're going to show you a few things about how to find your way around the prints, what to look for, uh, what are designators, and hopefully by the time we're done, you're going to be able to troubleshoot a whole lot easier. We're going to give you a few key points to look at. Okay, let's go start looking at it and let's see what we've got. Hey, most people look at this first page and they really don't look at it. Notice on the right hand side it says serial number. That is also your matricola number. Make sure that that matches the robot that you're working on. Not all of our robots are the same. Up at the top in the center here it says axis configuration. It tells you what number is associated with what axis. Check to make sure that the number of the drive, and that's normally what they're talking about, is the number of the drive. And then the page number is down at the bottom right-hand corner. Okay, on our next page, you'll notice it's kind of like an index to a book. On the left-hand side, it shows you what page or what chapter, but basically it's a page number. And then on the right-hand side, it tells you what that page number is about. It kind of gives you a definition, just like as in a book. Okay, on the next page we have the CPU rack. The CPU rack is laid out to show you if it's a DO or a digital output. It goes shows you a DI, which is a digital input. The AI is an analog. Notice our analog circuits are the first things in our rack. And then each one of them has a description. Gives you a description of what that input or output is. Down the bottom left hand corner, it shows you our drive inputs. You will not see them on our digital rack. They're just annotating them so you know who they are and where they are. All right, so when you go into one of our pages, if it's associated with our CPU rack, down the bottom left hand corner, you'll see this rectangle. In the rectangle, you will find one small rectangle that's blackened. That is the location of that rack card in our CPU. They're normally in order. All right. On any page within our prints, you'll notice up on the top left-hand corner, these are page slash coordinate numbers. The first number is the page number, which is associated on the bottom right-hand corner where I pointed out. The coordinates are just like a map. If you were taught how to read a map, the left-hand side is a letter, the top numbers the top side is numbers. Those are your coordinates. And then we have devices. All of our devices are labeled. That's pretty important to know what device you're actually talking about. Hey, also in our prints, you'll notice that we also have our pneumatic distribution pages. Uh, these pages will tell you what color code the line is. You'll notice if you look at any of your lines, they've all got a little rubber coating on them that has a specific color. That is what they're trying to show you in these prints. Once again, it shows your axis configuration. They point out what axis is what. Your up and down axis here is axis two. Your transverse axis is axis three. And it shows you a couple things about your servo motor connection and device locations. The terminal strip page, there's actually a couple of these terminal strip pages. This one I happened to pick out was based on the robot. There's three of them. They're pointing to the location of those terminal strips. So if you're looking for something in your prints and you're trying to find where is that terminal strip at, go look at the locations. They'll tell you exactly where they are. And our last one is our pneumatic circuit. It's all laid out more for a, like a mechanical reading than it is an electrical reading. Notice they have single valves. We have double valves. Our single valves are all spring return. Uh, it's got the pressure regulator, cylinders. Uh, basically, it, it's a mechanical type drawing more than an electrical. All right. Well, have a good day, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.